Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. Today we are going to start working with another feature of Unity 5 that you guys have been requesting, the Mechanim. If you enjoy this video, remember to leave a like and, if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. Now for those of you who never heard of Mechanim, the Mechanim is an animation and state machine tool incorporated in Unity. This tool can be used to animate humanoid characters, UI elements, doors, lights and so on. The idea for the next couple of videos is to add several animations to a character using the mechanism. Now before we move any further, further, we actually need to add some assets to work with. So to do that, let's actually open the asset store. And let's find some assets that we can work with. So let's see. Okay, now asset store is open. So what you actually want to do now is to search for the following package: draw mocap data for. Mechanim. Now let's search for it. And okay, row mocap, let's see. Ha, ah, here it is. So row mocap data for mechanim. It's a free package, so you guys can download it as well. Just click here, download. And this will add the package to our project. So we are done loading the package. Let's just wait a, a little bit. So basically, this package contains several animations that we are actually going to use in Mechanim. Uh, this is a some raw data basically this means that you if in order to use this for example in a in a real game you may want to adjust the the animations and clean up a little bit so you have um, some nice animations as you guys can see here while well, this is please don't please wait yet uh, as you guys can see here on the package continents we have several animations already included so yeah, this is a, actually a pretty good package to have and quite useful. So please wait still. Come on, come on. Hmm. Okay, let me just finish the download and I will be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. So I just finished downloading the, the package. It took me a little bit more than I was expecting. So Unity is now decompressing the package and we are going to import it once it finishes. All right, let's import the package. We want to import everything, so. Yes, yeah, still decompressing stuff. Okay, so let's just click import and see if it imports everything without many issues this is okay hit import let's see and this should get the assets on our project let's just hope this doesn't take so much as the download did no it seems to be a little bit faster So after we download it, we actually had import the package, so you can add the the raw animations to our to our project. Let's just wait this to finish up. Okay, almost, almost there. And okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
these guys want to see some stuff, not this. Uh, let's move on, come on. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is actually importing several FBX files. Uh, every X FBX file are animations that we actually can use, so this is why this package is so good. It has several animations that you can use right away. And we are almost done. Okay, now you're done. Um, and as you guys can see here, we now have a, a raw mocap data folder here. We can actually open it. And let's go back to our scene. So now we have the assets, so let's start working. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is to add a plane to my current scene. So it will this plane will work as ground. So game object, 3D object, let's add a plane and uh, yes why why let's add it for example a hundred is a little bit too much 25 25 for example yeah this this should be this should work fine okay next what i'm going to do is to go here to the folder and as you can, guys can see i have this game object here which is actually a prefab if i'm not mistaken no i don't think it is um which is the default avatar import settings so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drag this to our scene and let's center it on the zero zero and double click on it so you can actually see it better alright so we have our avatar now so with this this with this uh, character as you can see is in t pose and is ready to be animated so in order to add uh, um, animations to a character you actually need to have um, a game a game component on that object called it uh, animator controller so basically this is what this component does is brings together the animations that we are going to use and allow us to maintain a set of animations for a character or an object okay so the next step is to actually create an animation an animator controller on my folder so i'm going to right click with the mouse going to create and somewhere around here here it is i have animator controller and i'm actually i'm actually going to call it my animator controller okay so the, the best idea here is to give it the name of what you want, for example. Um, let's see, if, if, for example, let's say we were actually working with a soldier, so I would call it soldier controller, something like that. So what I actually do now is we double click on this animator and what this is going to do is going to open the animator view on Unity. Okay. So right now we actually if we take a look we see that we we have the we have uh, three rectangles here entry exit and any state so basically these are three states the default states that when you have a empty animator so what we actually want to do now is to add animations to our animator so i'm going to open the animations i'm going here to idle and let's search for example yes you can use this one idle natural one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it and place it right here so as you guys let's move this for here and as you guys can see once I had the, the animation you'll create a rectangle with the name of that animation and what this is saying is okay when the animation starts it will start with the idle neutral so that's why you have this connection here okay so basically this yellow rectangle represents a state the animator controller matches the animations by using states for example if you have a character running the controller will be on the running state but if you want your character to jump for example the controller will be on the jumping state so each animation represents an action for our character and for each action we have different states. 
so the controller manages the passages between those states as we will see later on. So this is our first was our first video on Mechanim, so what you actually learned today was how to import the package which we are actually going to use on the next couple of videos and we will actually learn how to create an animator controller and how to add an animation to it. So on the next video we are going to create more states and create connections between them and see how they work. Hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson, until next video, have a nice day.